So now let's see how we can work around with the one selection tool inside of Pixlr E. So on the left side, you can see that after the marquee select and after the lasso select, you have the one select tool. And if I were to click on this, then now you can see that there's a one. So I'm just going to zoom in onto this particular area, let's say for example, and click. And once I do that, you can see that this shade is selected. I can go around right here and once I click, you can see that it selects out a flat color, just like that. I can click here and it selects out this color. So if you want to, let's say, select around uh, an object uh, with the same color, you can use the one selection tool, as you can see. So I can go around over here onto a range tool, and this is the result, as you can see right there. I can go around onto one, click here, click here, click here, and that is how it works. So I can also go around, click this, and I can go on to add to selection tool right here. And if I were to click here, you can see that I can add to the selection as well. Similarly, I can go around over here on to remove from the selection as well to remove out certain portions just like this. I can work around with the tolerance level. So let's say, for example, if I were to go on to new select, click here, you can see that only this part is selected. But if I were to go around over here, increase the tolerance, click here, then it selects out a larger range, a larger chunk. So here, if I were to go around and click here, let's say, for example, decrease the tolerance. Let me click here again outside. Uh, I'm just going to go around onto new selection, click somewhere outside right here. Let me press Ctrl D to deselect, and I'm going to go to one tool again. So I'm going to decrease the tolerance right here and click on this section right here. So let me just increase this a bit right here. And then if I were to click here, right here, you can see that that is selected. So right now, if I were to move this, you can see that the edges are very, very sharp. But if I were to go around onto the one tool, click somewhere else right here. I'm going to increase the feather, let's say, for example, click here. And now it has much more of a softer selection, just like that. I can go around onto the wall one and click here. And you can also work around with anti-alias, let's say, for example. And then if you were to turn off the anti-aliasing, then the selection becomes much more sharper. So I'm just going to decrease out the feather right here. So I'm just going to keep it to zero select this and if I were to move this around right here so let me just move this around and then what happens is that the selection is much more sharper as you can see right here so if I were to go around onto one there's other option as well so you can sample like select all the layers and then you have the contiguous option as well so that is how you can work around with the one select tool inside of Pixlr E so I hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.